Hello traders, FS Becoletta here. Today is Tuesday, December 3rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top doubt analysis. But also don't forget to check out my website, fxpecoletta.com, if you would like to get access to my swing trade setups, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course are included for only $30 per month. So anyways, on the dollar cat, I still think this looks like a big WXY pattern, and if that is true, then this will turn down and make the wave C of wave Y to complete the ABC of wave Y. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think that this is likely all part of a big correction, like a wave C of a ABC of wave Y. So this way over here, if we zoom out a little bit more... So this way over here, I think, is the wave A. I think that this all up here is a crutch into that move down wave B, and I still think there's a very good likelihood that eventually we are going to turn down in a big downtrend for a wave C of an A, B, C of Y. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, the trend is definitely still up. We really can't confirm that this move up is complete until we have a break of structure to the downside, which we definitely do not have yet. And since we do not have a break of structure, we got to keep in mind that the trend is up and it could always continue up and make new highs. The trend is definitely not over until the market says that the trend is over. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, we definitely got a very impulsive counter trend move right here. Then we got what looks like a impulsive up, corrective down, probably going to lead to another impulsive up. I think we're in a crutching right now to this move down. So this would probably be an A or a 1, this move up is either a B or a 2. I think we're going to eventually make another push down for a C, which would either bounce from a fib and continue the uptrend. Or if it's not a wave C and it's a wave 3, then it will go down and break Strutzer. So the best thing for me to do, I think, would be try to go sort at the end of the B or 2 and hopefully learn and earn at the same time whether we're looking at a wave C or whether we're looking at a wave 3. So taking it right down to the 1 hour time frame. On the 1 hour time frame, this is definitely a downtrend. To me, even though this move up is kind of three ways, which it definitely is, I think that this is more likely an A. I think this might be a wave B, and I think that we're likely to go up for a wave C. And I think this whole move that we're seeing right now is likely a crutch into this last move down. Like I said, this is either an A or a 1. I think this move right here is a crutch into the move down, either B or 2. And I think eventually we're going to get another push down for either a C, which would likely bounce from a fib and continue the uptrend, like I showed on the 4 hour, or possibly a wave 3, which would go down and break Strutzer, confirming that that daily time frame uptrend is complete. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.